at the glory there. That is some beautiful coffee. Well, the coffee's flowing and it's time to get going. Hey, welcome back to Questions Over Coffee. My name's Kevin Smith. It's good to see you again. Want a cup of coffee? Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss anything that's coming up on Questions Over Coffee. If you have a comment or a question, leave in the section below. We'll get to it just as fast as we can. Today's question is, how do you reconcile Jesus' words in John chapter 3, verse 17, and then in John chapter 5, verse 22? They seem to contradict one another. So, as we begin today, let's go ahead and read uh, both passages, but we're going to read a few verses around them to get the context and see if we can tell how to reconcile these two passages. What we're going to do is begin with John chapter 3, and we're going to read verses 16 through 21. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. He who believes in him is not judged. He who does not believe has been judged already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. This is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and men loved the darkness rather than the light, for their deeds were evil. For everyone who does evil hates the light, and does not come to the light for fear that his deeds will be exposed. But he who practices the truth comes to the light, so that his deeds may be manifested as having been wrought in God. And then also John chapter 5. Uh, verse 22 is the one we're going to consider, but let's go ahead and read verses 19 through 24. Therefore Jesus answered and was saying to them, Truly, truly I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself unless it is something he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, these things the Son also does in like manner. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all things that he himself is doing. And the Father will show him greater works than these, so that you will marvel. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, even so the Son also gives life to whom he wishes. For not even the Father judges anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all will honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come into judgment, but has passed out of death into life. Okay, so in John chapter 3, Jesus basically says, I didn't come to judge, I came to save. In John chapter 5, Jesus says, not even the Father is the one that's going to judge. I am going to judge, I being Jesus here. You know, uh, so what gives? Well, based on the context around it, uh, John chapter 3 is about Jesus' mission. Jesus was sent to earth to teach, to live and model, to set the example, in other words, and to die for the sins of mankind so that you and I could have eternal life. He came not to judge, but to offer life through his sacrifice. But when you get into John chapter 5, Jesus is dealing with his, um, for lack of a better word, equality with God. He says, whatever you see me doing, 
I'm doing because the Father does it first. The Father has done this. He has set the example. He is handing everything over to me for the judgment. I am the one that's going to be judging. He's going to judge based on obedience, based on honor and love that has been directed toward the Son. Because by doing so, we honor His Father, our Heavenly Father. So, in other words, John 3 is about the mission. John 5, Jesus has a different purpose in mind. He is dealing not with what He came to do, but instead of what He will do when he returns and it's judgment day. So, I have a question for you. What can we do to love and honor the Son more today? Leave me a comment in the section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss anything that's coming up on Questions Over Coffee. Thank you for our time together today. I look forward to the next time. Keep pressing forward.